Well, we talked a lot about uh, the, the, the different screens that are available to users now and how we, how we make sense of all of that and how we get engaging experience in front of our audiences. So um, that's a huge topic for us, a really interesting topic for us. Uh, it was interesting to hear we had somebody from Variety, so they're traditionally a, a, a print publication. It was interesting to hear uh, their, their take on, on things, and they've gone with a model where you can pay, pay one fee and get your content everywhere. Um, and then brands that are more like us, like Turner, um, where they have different screens and different use cases and different models. So really interesting panel for me, a really big topic for us. Uh, which is the first screen and which is the second screen? The, the, the advertising revenues and the dollars are, are being spent on the traditional TV uh, more than they are on the, on the digital side. So, so that, I believe, is the first screen. And, and the, the mobile screen, I, I believe, is the second screen. And the two, can, the two can really influence each other. You can drive people to mobile from TV. You can drive people to TV from mobile. And they work really well together. And finding the right way to do that is, is, a, is important to us. We've done voting campaigns for shows that lend themselves to voting, and those work really well. We know that if users are able to affect the outcome of a show through their vote, that they're much more likely to engage. We've also done voting where users are, are maybe um, having an opinion on something and not necessarily affecting the outcome of the show, and those don't get great engagement. So we've learned from that, and we, we try to tailor the experience to the programming and try not to um, input uh, interactive elements that don't make sense for a specific show. If, uh, if an application makes sense and if there's something about the interaction we're trying to create that requires access to the device and to the device camera, GPS and app makes a lot of sense. If we want to push content, a mobile website makes a lot of sense. If we just want to drive people to another product, SMS makes a lot of sense. So we have to mix and match and use a lot of different tools. So we're looking at responsive design, we're looking at HTML5, and trying to find uh, the, the best way to tailor our sites, tailor our content, uh, for all the different use cases that exist. And it's, a, it's, it's an interesting topic. Uh, the, you know, it's not a new topic, responsive design. It's something that's sort of been around since people could resize their browsers. But uh, it's something that has really picked up steam recently. And uh, we think there's, there's a place for it. We, we need to find the right use case for it. One thing that's true is if you can build a product for mobile, that is one of the most challenging tasks, and you can probably then make it work for a desktop site. Uh, so, so from that respect, I think mobile first is, is a good approach. Uh, but we are still a TV company, and, and that's, you know, that's, our, that's our roots. That's um, really what we're about is entertainment and content, and, and that starts with TV. So, so I think the, the platforms are complementary, and they have to be, and we have to take advantage of that. So, so I think uh, standards would, would, would make that job easier. Standards in terms of bandwidth that's available, standards in terms of technology that's supported, that would make the job easier of optimizing an experience for every particular screen that's out there. We know that we still have to do it, even if there aren't full standards out there, and we will continue to do so. But uh, if there were technology standards, connection type standards, that would, that would make everybody's job a lot easier. Don't think of mobile as a platform. Think of mobile as a use case. Uh, among many other use cases, and um, think about the way that your audience is engaging with your content. And if you can think about the experience first and the platform second, I think you'll, you'll uh, be better positioned to create a good experience.